Hey guys, Freddy Hero here, and welcome to another Time for Two Love video, where I bring you new loves to try every once a week. Today's love is going to be one of the final Apex members of this group, who sounds a bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but more heavy on the German accent, and kind of sounds like a badass. Today's pilot, we will be playing as Victor, the Arnold Schwarzenegger imitator. Now, there's not a lot of information about Victor and his origins or how he became a member of the Apex crew and such, but from going off from his voice line, we can tell that he's most likely German origin, and most possibly worked within IMC as a normal soldier before being hired by Blisk. But that's just a wild guess, and that's something that you can always speculate on in your own time. Now, we haven't seen any sort of gameplay around that shows us how well Victor fights on the field through using his weapons and gear, but we do have a decent boss fight that occurred in single player that shows us a bit about how he piloted his Titan. So we can probably use that as a kind of reference point to when we use our Titan in the multiplayer. So for the following loadout, this is what I went with. His class is the Cloak class, which allows him to go invisible freely, but only for a limited amount of duration. So we're going to have to maximise this and use it for escaping and getting a jump onto people. Your primary would be the Kraber, as it's the only weapon I found through promotional art that shows him maining it. Although in the picture you see here, he has by the looks of it the Spitfire on his back. And... I'm not 100% sure if this is another weapon that he used, or if this is just something for promotional reasons, but I guess in this case here, you could probably use the Spitfire as well in more close quarter maps if you genuinely want to, or if you're not, you can always go with the more sniper refill and use the Kraber. For me personally, I'm going to stick with the Kraber, even though I'm not great with it, but I'm going to go with the Kraber because I haven't done a Kraber video in quite a long time, and I kind of want to fit the build as much as possible. Your secondary can be the P2816 as it's all round versatile weapon and your anti-titan weaponry will be anything you desire as you can be both aggressive or defensive. Your boost will be a map hack as it allows you to predict more effectively as to where enemy team are and also helps your team. Your ordnance can be the gravity star to help you with getting your shots to connect better and making pilots and grunts stay in one place. Your titan will be tone with the rocket barrage and nuke ejection so we can follow in the ways of Victor plus the nuke eject to top things off when things get really bad. And lastly, your pilot kits will be power cell and low profile for a combination of stealth synergy. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys and say that I'm not the best in terms of netting a lot of kills with the Kraber, even when the game has been up for so long, as I'm not no Benchy, Inquitity, Tony Mo, 2 OP, etc. So, my playstyle for this build is more focused on finding a nice area, that's not common with a lot of players, but does allow me to have a wide field of view against everyone and then take as many pop shots as possible until I either need to go into another area or drop my titan. So in general I'm going to be playing with a slower approach than usual, rather than an aggressive and messy playstyle. To which you'll see I'm still generally terrible at using the snipers. Now if you don't want to play as a slow and boring sniper and want to move a bit more then it's entirely up to you as you can pull off some really crazy moves and unexpected hits if you be a bit more aggressive on your playstyle. The only time I would consider myself to play aggressive is when I'm playing with Tone, as at that moment I could push up like crazy, rather than stay in one spot, and if I get in trouble, I can use my particle wall to block incoming damage, and then keep producing more damage should the enemy team is either down on titans, or they either back off. Tone to me is great for pumping out a lot of damage within a few seconds if you play your cards right, but it's very vulnerable when you're going up against titans that are really fast, or have a high amount of health, so you really need to hit them hard so they can't push up. There isn't a lot of downside to the loadout as you can play aggressive indoors and out, but I would say you wouldn't be able to push really hard and prevent the enemy team from getting close to you, as your weapon is only projectile base, meaning you have to predict where the enemy is going, or else you'll miss your shots. And if you haven't ever used a projectile base weapon in Type 2 like the Kraber before, you may struggle with netting a number of kills. So you always have to kind of predict and be on the move and be wary of your surroundings, because even though you're invisible, you can get kind of carried away when it comes down to netting, trying to get a specific kill by trying to net in a shot onto a target. I've done it multiple times where I've found a target in a nice open area. I take a shot at them, I miss. I keep firing at them over and over and over again. And this gives my position away to which other players on the other team can either snipe me back or sneak up at me and try to get a mini kill me. So you always have to, you always have to be aware of your surroundings and always know when to back out and know when to move, because you can't stay in one place all the time. You have to keep moving, so take a shot here and there, and then when things get a bit too heated or you feel like players are noticing where you are, move somewhere else. That's how you play the playstyle, and if you play it good, you can net a decent amount of kills. Nothing too over the top, but a decent amount. Play it bad, and you're going to be struggling a lot. But anyways, this is the build I chose to go with and play, as to me, Richter is a type of pilot who seems calm and collective when netting kills, 
But the moment he goes on the street, there's pretty much nothing that can stop him. Well, except for my 14 nuke ejects. So that is the end of my video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then by all means leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by all means leave a dislike. I understand, and I know what to improve in the near future. But once again, guys, thank you for watching. And this is actually the final Apex member for the entirety of the loadout video. So I should have another two more coming. And then hopefully this series here will probably come to an end. Depending. So once again, guys, thank you all for watching. And I do hope to see you again soon.